Hi guys, my name is Chris. Hi everyone, I'm Celine. And today we're going to talk about invasive species removal. In particular, we're going to talk about the Himalayan blackberry. Himalayan blackberries have thick, rose-like thorns. And that is one way that you can identify them. You can also identify them by their very thick, woody stems and the fact that they grow in leaflets of five. You can see here, there's five leaves coming out from the same stalk. Native blackberries to BC are called trailing blackberries and they grow in leaflets of three. So why are we removing these Himalayan blackberries? Um, because their berries are so delicious and everybody loves to eat them. But as you can see, Himalayan blackberries grow very thick, very dense, and it's kind of like an impenetrable wall. Um, so Himalayan blackberries really outcompete other native species for space, for sunlight. So other native species that might grow on the ground here don't have those nutrients in that space and cannot reach the sunlight to grow properly. Before we begin, we're going to talk about our safety precautions. So first of all, we're wearing thick gloves. Next thing we have is our safety vest so people know that we're doing some work over here. Next thing we have over here is our garbage bags to put the Himalayan black blackberries in, shears to cut them up, and a shovel to uproot them. Last thing I want to talk about is we always want to wear thick layers uh, all over our arms, down to our legs, because Himalayan blackberries have thick rose-like thorns that can hurt. So let's get into actually how to remove blackberries. So the first step would be to find the actual cane of the blackberry and dig it up and grab it from the roots. Uproot it, make sure you're not breaking the roots, leaving some some um, canes underneath. Next thing we're going to talk about is what to do after we uproot them. We'll do an example on this um, cane of blackberry right here. They grow by putting canes into the ground. So basically what you want to do to stop that is to cut them in sections that are less than six inches or 15 centimeters. So that's what uh, Celine here is going to do for me. So so you take your secateurs and chop them into small segments. Six inches or smaller. So once you're done cutting them up into small sections, it's key that you put them into a large tarp or garbage bag, like so. And take them to your local landfill or have them incinerated so that they don't spread further. And that has been Removing an Invasive Species with Chris and Celine. I believe.